Hey guys, my name is Christian and this is Spiritual Defense. I wanna thank you all so much for being connected with us here as you watch this video. And I wanna thank Kogan Self Defense Academy for getting these videos out to you. So Matt, Rob, Bowie, thank you guys so much for all that you do to make Kogan a place where all of us can train, where we can grow and we can all get better together. It's spiritual defense and spiritual defense has three parts. The first is to defend, to defend ourselves against the apathy, against the depression, against the fear, against all those things that would hold us down. It's to disarm, to disarm the powers and forces of darkness and to uncover the lies that they tell and bring about the truth. And lastly, it is to defeat those lies and walk in freedom and victory. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that we deal with all the time, and that is the subject of healing. You know, more often than not, all of us are walking in with a slight limp, with some tape, with a sling, with a bump or a bruise, and we're looking for healing. In combat sports, healing is right around the corner from getting injured, and that just seems to be a continual cycle for all of us. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to listen to our bodies. But in the midst of all of this, it occurs to me that as we go about the process of healing, that three things are required. The first is patience. There's nothing worse, and all of us know it, than getting back out on the mats, getting back out in the ring, getting back up to sparring too soon, and getting re-injured. Patience, time, is required. The second thing is persistence. We have to be persistent. We can't just do our exercises, our rehab, all those things that we do to get better, stretching and all of that once. We have to keep doing it every single day to see the results that we wanna see. And lastly, we need perspective. Our perspective will shape how well we make it through the healing process. If we're constantly just gnawing at the bit, getting crazy, we can't deal with it, biting people's heads off, yelling, getting upset, losing our temper because we can't do the things we wanna do, that seems to not only delay the healing process, but it sure makes it hard to live at peace with ourselves while that's going on. In the spiritual realm, this is no different. We need to have those components in order to heal. The first is patience. Maybe spiritually you've come off of a failure. Maybe you've come off of a time of, of doubt. Maybe you've come off a time of anger or frustration. You need time, time to heal, the patience to allow that healing process to happen. You also need persistence. Persistence is that thing that's going to allow you to keep doing the things that you need to do, to stop your days and pray, to stop your days and read God's word, to stop your days and look around and see who you can serve. Persistence is one of the three keys. And lastly, perspective. Perspective simply says, this isn't going to last forever. Just like that ankle, that elbow, that arm is going to eventually get better, your spiritual life will begin to grow, it will begin to mature again, it will begin to function as it's supposed to, but you have to have that perspective that this is the long game, not the short, what can I do right this second, but the long perspective of what is this gonna look like in a month, in two months, in six months. So I wanna encourage you, if you're sitting on the sidelines right now with an injury, maybe you're coming to class and just watching technique and then not getting to spar, I encourage you, remember that you need patience, persistence, and perspective to get through this time. I hope this time has helped you. I'm so glad you stayed connected to this video with me. I wanna thank you again for being with Kogan Sunday Service. Look forward to seeing you this week at the Academy, on the mats, in the back, wherever you guys are. Looking forward to seeing you. If you need anything, my Facebook, my email are listed below. I would love to talk to you, grab some coffee, or if you need something, you can always find me on social media. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great Sunday. See you soon.